In 1983, an experiment was conducted by a group of scientists allegedly associated with radical religious organizations. The experiment was illegal, and the information surrounding it is questionable. The scientists hypothesized that an individual who lacked all senses and external stimuli would be capable of sensing God's presence. They believed that our five senses impede our awareness of eternity, and without them, an individual could make mental contact with God. The sole volunteer subject was an elderly man who claimed to have nothing to lose. In order to shield his consciousness from all sensations and feelings, the scientists performed a complex procedure to disconnect the parts of his brain responsible for consciousness from all nerve endings. Despite being fully mobile, the subject was unable to see, hear, feel, smell, or experience pain. Completely cut off from the outside world and without the ability to communicate, he was left alone with his thoughts. Throughout the experiment, the subject's condition was closely monitored by the scientists. Initially, he described his mental state in incomprehensible sentences, which he was unable to hear himself. After four days, he claimed to hear hissing, indecipherable voices in his head. Two days later, the man shouted that his deceased spouse was communicating with him and that he could respond to her. The scientists were intrigued but skeptical until he began to provide specific details about their deceased relatives, whom he had no prior knowledge of. The subject's ability to acquire information that only the deceased spouses or parents of the scientists would know prompted most of the researchers to withdraw from the experiment. Following a week of communicating with the deceased, the subject reported that the voices had become overwhelming. Hundreds of voices continually invaded his consciousness and refused to leave him alone, causing him to frequently throw himself against the wall in an attempt to induce pain. He pleaded with the scientists to provide him with sleeping pills so that he could escape the voices in his sleep. However, this remedy only worked for three days, after which he began to experience violent nightmares. The subject repeatedly stated that he could see and hear dead people in his sleep. Subsequently, the subject resorted to scratching his unseeing eyes in a desperate attempt to establish contact with the external world. He thrashed about hysterically and claimed that the voices of the dead had become overwhelming and hostile, warning him about the underworld and the end of the world. At one point, he repeatedly yelled, no heaven, no forgiveness, for five hours straight. Despite his distress and continuous pleas for euthanasia, the scientists remained convinced that he would eventually make contact with God, as they had anticipated. The following day, the subject's ability to speak coherently deteriorated, and he began to gnaw on his own flesh, seemingly losing his sanity. The scientists intervened by restraining him to a table to prevent him from self-harming. A few hours later, the subject ceased screaming and thrashing, instead staring blankly at the ceiling while tears streamed down his face. Over the next two weeks, the scientists had to administer fluids intravenously to him because he cried so much that he became dehydrated. Eventually, the subject turned his head to the side and whispered, I spoke to God, and he abandoned us. At that moment, all of his vital signs ceased. The cause of death was indeterminate. 